Should you run from the police? Let's get on the scoot and find out. What's going on guys? So it's been a it's been a minute since I've been able to make a video. My work schedule has gotten insane the last two weeks. Anyway, I what do you think? Uh, pretty hot topic right here. Uh, should you run from the popo or not? Well, I definitely got some thoughts on this one, and I'll share. I'm going to share them with y'all, and please leave your thoughts in the comments below. The police. My answer to that question overwhelmingly is no. And I'm going to tell you why. We're talking about, you know, ba a bad thing, right? You're riding your bike, you're getting pulled over, you might be doing wheelies, you might be going too damn fast. You know, pretty much, for the most part, the most guys that are riding bikes to get pulled over did something. They got their tag tucked up underneath the damn uh, rear where it can't be seen. A whole variety of different reasons. Um, but the reason I say no, go ahead and pull over for the police for a couple reasons. Number one, if you get caught running from the police, you're probably going to make the situation worse. Okay, now we all know if you're on a sports bike, you go 180 miles an hour or something like that, you probably can't, can't get away. But <coughs> if you look at that, you're putting your life at risk. If the cop chases you, you're putting his life at risk. You're putting others' life at risk. Other cars, pedestrians, property. You're putting all these things at risk over a speeding ticket or some type of moving violation or something like that. I think you would be better served, to be honest with you, if you kept a attorney on retainer. That's what I do. Um, I actually deal with several different attorneys for my personal and um, business stuff, but I always like knowing I've got somebody I can pick up that phone and help solve the situation. And, and plus, on top of it, if you pull over, you might meet a cool cop. Now, I definitely have my, my feelings about law enforcement within the United States. Um, you know, you might get pulled over by a cop that actually rides a bike, right? He might you know, cut you some slack on the ticket. You know, let's say, let's let's give you a good scenario here. You're going 160 miles an hour on a damn R1 or some type of leader bike in a 45 mile an hour zone or a 55 mile an hour zone. You done fucked up. You done fucked up bad. But, you know, that cop might write you a ticket saying you're going 80 or something like that or 75 or something like that if he's cool. Now I do understand that in that type of situation you are committing a felony, you will get your bike towed, and you've got that decision to make. I mean, you're sitting on an R1, some type of leader bike, and you're like, uh, I can get away from this guy, no problem. You may, you may not. It's hard to run away from a damn radio. That's another big point. You know, they got radios, they got helicopters. You could be like fucking OJ, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and have your shit on the damn uh, evening news. And most people don't want that. And more importantly, you're putting your life at risk. And let's say, let's say you can't shake the cops. You can't shake that radio. You can't shake the damn helicopter. You know what's going to happen to you when they finally get your ass? You're probably going to get the fuck beat out of you. You're probably gonna get roughed up. They're probably gonna drop your bike. They're probably gonna make you drop your bike. You're gonna get damage to your bike. It's gonna get impounded. You're probably gonna get roughed up. That sure as hell ain't gonna be nice to you when they pull you over. That's a given, right? So, 
what is the moral to all this? I understand the reasons why people run. Yes, you know, you don't want to get that felony charge. You don't want to get your bike impounded. Your bike can get away from them. Like here, I'm out in these country roads. I know that there's no helicopter. I know the town that I just left only has two cops. I know that this town right here has no cops. They got a fire department. But um, what I, and I'm on my scooter right now, you know, I've been pulled over on my scooter before. Uh, I've been let go twice. One time I got pulled over for no reason. The other time I was going a little bit fast on the scooter, but they let me go. But would I still, would I run if I was on my Ninja and do about 150 something miles an hour and I'm pretty agile on it, you know, I could probably get away. Would I run? No. I'm not running for the police. I let my attorneys do the fighting for me. That's their job. That's why they're on the attorney. Oh, this guy's going fishing right here. Lady, excuse me. You look like a dude. <laughs> but yeah, I don't um I don't run from law enforcement or anything like that. I'm too old for that shit. Um some of you younger guys might think, you know, you're invincible and shit. That's not the case, man. And go ahead and let you know from experience that is not the case. But anyway, I hope uh I hope this uh this vlog right here sparks maybe a community discussion about this um i know i got some guys you know my age or older that are uh subscribed to my channel maybe leave a comment below let these younger guys know you know it ain't worth it it ain't worth getting potentially killed over a fucking moving violation shit even if you don't have an attorney man you can beat that shit and there's a good chance that cop might let you fucking go. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't by now, could you hit the uh, like button for me if you enjoyed the video. Um, the channel's grown a good bit. I know I got a lot of new subscribers out there. Um, I want to thank all y'all for watching my shit. Until the next time, I'll catch y'all later.